Most who have coronavirus won't end up in the hospital. Many of us won't even know if we've had it. But volunteers are going door to door, hoping to convince people to give blood and find out. This evening, investigator Courtney Holmes talks to researchers who are conducting the Sero survey. Think of it as a coronavirus census. Doctors and nurses have been canvassing neighborhoods asking to test people for coronavirus antibodies. And this weekend, they'll be getting the last of those samples, which could tell us just how widespread the virus is. And finally, when we can take these masks off. The goal, the 168 households participating. To get there, these volunteers will need to convince the final 36 households to allow them to draw their blood right then and there. After it's spun down, it's a stable sample. We're able to keep them until we deliver them to Mayo Clinic at night. For 10 straight days, 350 volunteers with ASU and Maricopa County Public Health have been working to get people in randomly chosen neighborhoods to take antibody tests. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. The team has with them all of the supplies that they would have typically in the clinic so they can set up a mobile phlebotomy station right in someone's front yard on their porch. Officials say finding out how many people have already had the virus is critical in fighting it. To help us understand how many need to get vaccinated so we can pull back on social distancing and go back to being with our loved ones, going back to work and doing all the things that we need to do to have a normal life. The information gathered is de-identified and analyzed by the CDC. From there, and we present that to the Board of Supervisors and the public, and we, we add it into our plan once a vaccine arrives. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.